Hello, my dear, it is I, and I am going to make this sourdough bread recipe that I gave to you. And I thought I'd make a little video just for you to refer to. So I've got the 500 grams of bread flour in here. I've got the nine grams of salt, which is uh, one and a half teaspoons. And I'm going to put the um, 285 grams water in here. I've got my bowl on my digital scale. So um, 285 grams coming up. Doesn't have to be super exact, but I'm a little bit OCD, so I usually try to be pretty close. 286, good enough. And um, by the way, 285 grams is about a cup and a quarter. If you don't wanna do the digital scale, it won't make much of a difference. And then 150 grams bubbly starter. And so I've got some good bubbly starter here. You can see my by my elastic. I, um, I fed my starter about eight o'clock and it is now 10.30, so that's two and a half hours. I usually guesstimate it'll take close to three hours for it to get um, really bubbly, but it's been two and a half and that's obviously good enough. So I'm just going to pour in here, reset my scale, pour in 150 grams of bubbly starter and try to be a little bit precise. 150, okay. Hundred and thirteen. Hundred and twenty seven. <laughs> Riveting stuff, isn't it? I know you're on the edge of your seat. Hundred and forty eight. Well, that's good enough. Okay. I'm wearing gloves. Most people don't when they make bread, but I just find my hands get really dry from being in in the water all the time, washing them. So, okay, I got all my ingredients, starter, water, flour, and salt in here. And then it says squelch all the ingredients together briefly, just for a minute. Um, it doesn't take long because they don't want you to really make a dough per se. You're just um, wanting to get all of the ingredients assimilated. Not to use a Star Trek reference, but resistance is futile. So um, you just squelch them all together and squelch being the technical term. And so I'm squelching, I'm squelching. And let's see if I can show you, show you this. Um, let's see. <laughs> What can you see? There's my hand. Okay, can you see the can you see the dough? I can't tell if you're seeing the dough or not. But anyway, um, yeah, this isn't working real well. But anyway, I'll I'll show you once I get it all squelched. Squelch, squelch, squelch. So I basically got all the. Uh, all the ingredients pretty much together. And then, okay, let's see if I can so, show you now. Can you see? Uh, hopefully you can see that. It's It doesn't really look right because it's not completely combined, but that's what you're going for. That's what you want. And then you just put, Saran wrap over the bowl, leave it for 30 minutes, and I'll come back and do the rest and make another little video. Okay, part one, done.